Here's a quick video about how to make a KFM-2 airfoil for your RC plane wings. Uh, for those of you who watch my channel, you know on all my wings I do a KFM-2 airfoil like this. Um, there's basically two reasons why I do this. First of all is it obviously adds an airfoil to the wing, so it increases the amount of lift that this wing generates. And secondly, it adds a lot of strength to the wing. I use a base of foam board right along here, this white board. And then this top, I use a half inch insulation pink foam just from Home Depot. And this uh, KFM2 airfoil, it's supposed to be at 50% wing cord. So this is an eight inch wing here. So there's four inches here and four inches here. That's where the step is. And this, the step is supposed to be seven to 9% of the wing cord. That's how thick it's supposed to be. Um, I don't really calculate that. I just always use half inch uh, board, this pink foam like this. So I'm going to show you guys quickly how I make this because I've had a few questions. So right here I've got some foam board and I've got the half inch uh, wall insulation foam board. This is uh, six inches wide here and this is three. So this is exactly 50% the wing cord. So what I do first is I glue it down to the board using hot glue and low temperature. Make sure you guys use low temperature when you're using the pink foam or else it'll melt it. So I'm just going to glue this down. Alright, so that's good. There we are. It's glued down. You can see it's at 50% the wing cord and just glued on the leading edge. So now that it's on here, I am going to bevel this with just one of these breakaway or snap knives, whatever you call them. So I just start, I do a, like a 45 degree angle cut and I stop right, I stop right along here and I just shave it down a little bit more until I get a nice curve to it. Okay, so that's pretty good. There you can see it's just got a basic shape to it. It's pretty rough right now, obviously, but that is the good start for that. So now what I do is I move on to sanding it down. I just have a little sanding block with 150 grit sandpaper. So then I just sand it down to make it nice and smooth. Okay, great. Now, here's where we're at. This is a great smooth curve right here. This is a great airfoil. This will add tons of lift to this and it's really strong. Now this wing can hold a bunch more weight. I mean, I'm really pushing on this thing. Oh, I just cracked it just a little bit. But actually it's, it's fine, it's just, I don't even actually see what that was. Uh, but yeah, this wing is awesome. Um, so now what I do is I add a little bead along this back edge right here just for support. Now I just smooth it out. Just, I just like run, just pull this along here. I'm not putting any more glue down. Okay, and now we are on to the last step. I take some of this uh, strapping tape, it's just packing tape that has these uh, reinforced fibers in here, and I cut myself off a good piece. I know I shouldn't cut toward my hand. Uh, and I lay it around on here. And then I just wrap it around this edge. I'm going to use the uh, my desk to help me lay it on there nice and flat. There you go. Now if you see in my videos, this is what I have on all of my wings. It's a nice sturdy front edge that's reinforced with this uh, uh, packing tape with the straps in it. And then we got this. Now this is a really nice airfoil. Um, it works great. It's going to make your wing uh, have a lot more lift and a lot more uh, durability. So. That's what I do. I know you guys had some questions, so thanks for watching.